Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need with a video here on Animator and Blender. Um, basically, Animator and Blender are the probably two most well-known free 3D programs out there, um, along with GVX, but um, GVX has no rendering system, so uh, it's more for games and mods and stuff, uh, GVX is. But today, we're not going to focus on that, we're going to focus on Animator and Blender. Now, I have a whole bunch of screenshots here um, of different works that I found to be the best that I could find, well, not the best, but some good ones that I could find in both Blender and Animator. Um, okay, so first, Animator.com is the site to get Animator. Animator is spelled with an 8, not an A-T. So, keep that in mind. The Blender.org or Blender3D.org is the old website, is where you get Blender. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys the user interfaces for both, so that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and start um, with this. The first ones I'm going to show you are all going to be Animator, then the last are going to all be Blender. Now as you can see, this is all Animator, and it looks, it looks decent. This is a character um, that somebody made. Now, I'm not sure how many polygons or anything it is, but as you can see, uh, it's just a simple kind of creature. And this is water with a brush. It's just a cool scene to look at at the Animator Image Gallery. You can find more at animator.com slash gallery. Alright, and here's a motorcycle that I found was probably the best thing I could find uh, on the Animator Gallery website. Um, here's a really cool uh, kind of uh, 3D, uh, I don't know what this would be called, character I guess. Uh, as you can see it's got these robotic legs and it's kind of a cyborg almost. So I found, I found this one to be actually really cool. You can see the veins in the guy's forehead here. Uh, the next one is a cool like hot rod I guess. Uh, and it's got a nice studio set up here for rendering and all of that stuff. Obviously the background over here is fake uh, right back here, but everything else looks pretty real. It's pretty nice. Uh, and this right here, I'm probably this is probably the best thing I could find um, all together because it looks really cool. It's, uh, it's a really cool kind of uh, mesh here that the guy made, which is something that you can find at the Animator Image Gallery again, it's one of the last ones. Now here's Blender, um, probably my preferred program, now I'm not trying to sway you guys, but I personally think that everything about Blender is just a little bit better than it is in Animator. As you can see, in Blender you got the hair that the old man has. You also have Sculpt Tool, which allows you to create these wrinkles that the old guy has, as well as the clothes. And all the realistic textures and all the rendering and stuff, it all looks real. It's really nice. Um, this right here is a really cool piece by Co uh, called Colibri by Giuseppe Albergo. And uh, as you can see, it's got spider webs and it's really just a nice nature scene that I found. Um, all these are also in the Blender Gallery. Here's a really uh, kind of funny one. I think this was made. Uh, when Pirates of the Caribbean first came out, so it's kind of like uh, a Davy Jones uh, kid type thing. I like this one. I think this one's a really nice and neat creation. As you can see, you got the smoke, lit up cigar, you got tentacles, and really nice lighting and everything in here. Uh, also, I, I, lo I really like this one because it's really kind of uh, shows you what the sculpt tool can do and how good their rendering system is. Um, as you can see with all the pearls and stuff, this I don't know if this was actually made with the rendering system that comes with the first Blender or if it's the rendering system Yafare or something of that nature. Um, this one's really cool. It's a, I think this is supposed to be a game character. Uh, it's kind of high poly for a game character but you get normal map it and stuff. It's really just a nice all round everything is just really nice on the model. And then we got this scene here. Um, I believe this is a little touched up 
with maybe some Photoshop or something. And uh, but as you can see, this is just a really nice model here that the guy created. The nice scenery and background and everything. And this is just a nice character. It's I like the futuristic look to it. And as you can see, most of the blunders uh, galleries are of characters, uh, which are really more difficult to create than in mechanical things. Even though he incorporated or she incorporated uh, mechanical things into it, also have characters, and this really shows the a lot of power that blunder has. And I just want to make sure to give one kind of vehicle in here. As you can see, it's a flat tired, but here's an. an I think this is an Apache helicopter. I'm not really sure. Uh, and I think this is really a nice helicopter, made in Blunder. Uh, so that's why. That's kind of why my Blunder is my uh, choice here, choice program. All right, now I'm going to show you guys um, Blunder at the animator user interface. Here is the first Blunder user user interface. Um, it's kind of messy. If you don't really know what you're doing, you're going to get lost right away. Um, and, I mean, it's just got, there's a lot that you have to know in order to be able to use this. Uh, so it's not really for, like, beginners, I guess. I mean, it is as long as you know where each tool is. But until then, it's not probably going to be the easier tool to use. However, with that being said, if I close that out go ahead and open up the new 2.5 alpha blender which is I fell in love with this you got everything right here um, still got some of the original blender commands but wow is this this was just so much better in my opinion um, it's just nice it's neat everything is just right here it's all plainly spilled out for you got all of this up here and I, I just think this is the best user interface uh, out right now maybe as far as freeware goes for sure um, paidware I'm pretty sure this keeps up with uh, Maya and Lightwave and all of those probably a little bit better than Lightwave because I don't really like that program uh, here's animator now okay so here is uh, animator now, in my opinion, it's nowhere near as good as uh, Blender is. As you can see, it looks kind of weird uh, when you first start. This is actually one of the programs that I first started to use. So, uh, I kind of still remember how to do this. I think the best thing I ever did was make an apple, though. So, <laughs> and then I moved on to other things like Blender. Uh, as you can see, I mean, all the tools are laid out for you. It's really... I mean, it doesn't have too many uh, things in here. Here's the rendering system. Uh, nowhere near as good as Blender's uh, rendering system, which I don't think I showed you, so I'm going to show you this now. This is the new rendering system, though, so it's a little bit different. Um, let's see here. I just want to use the... Uh, Go ahead and render the image. As you can see, there's it automatically anti-aliases everything so you don't have those choppy edges like we do in the render here. Um, basically though if you're new into 3D graphics this is probably a better program for you to use just because it'll confuse you a little bit less. Um, however if you really want to get into your 3D graphics start using Blender. Um, that's my own personal opinion. I mean, I know a lot of people out there like Animator a lot because it also allows you to do a lot more low poly than maybe Blender will. Uh, the new Blender is not like that at all. New Blender is really good uh, with polygons and everything. Um, but yeah, that's my little little uh, video here. Just trying to show you guys um, basically the differences between the two. Uh, the user interface, I believe, is just about as hard in this as it is the original Blender. Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something about each program. And I hope you guys can make your own informative decisions on this. Alright, I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Take care.